How's it internet? Ozark here and today I'm going to be showing you how to solo Bunker 11 within 11 minutes and get that sexy MP7 blueprint. Now the reason I made this is because I wanted to solo this. I couldn't find a team who was willing to do it with me and um, so I just I went on Reddit, I went on YouTube, I tried to find all these locations. A lot of maps were outdated, uh, incorrect and uh, it was just a hassle swapping between images and then having to go on YouTube and find a video because some phones are quite hidden. So I, start, I decided to create an interactive system that hosts both images and YouTube videos for you right in one spot. So today I'm going to show you how I put it to use to get my MP7 blueprint in 11 minutes. So the first thing I need to do is actually update the map with choppers because this is, is essential to getting this done. Luckily for me, the two guys jumped with me, the enemies, and but they started fighting each other, so I made a swift escape there. Um, luckily, <laughs> they, they were sidetracked by, um, by me. So here we can see the map that I created. You can zoom in. There's the link above. I'll leave it in the description below as well. So I'm going, we're at the t TV station currently, and uh, the closest n other message for a phone, the blue phones we're looking for, are, is at uh, Laws of Pass, just north of us. And here you can see I'm using the, the built-in uh, YouTube video to show me exactly where the phone is located. And now I just have to find the correct building. I'm having a bit of a brain freeze at the moment. But then I soon come to my senses and I see that it's over there. So quickly just flying there and doing a little landing. Here we are. I know this area is actually quite safe. Not a lot of people land here. So you can actually park the chopper right next to it. Um, this obviously I just know from doing this building this for two weeks and shooting every single location uh some locations are hot spots others are not okay so this is me being an idiot uh because i am going in the wrong house even though i marked it clearly on the map i'm not following my own directions my own created map so don't be like me follow the instructions properly and you won't look like an idiot so still still a bit confused and then finally i, I wake up and i find the phone now that phone was obviously a, a, a dead signal, meaning that it's not going to work. I don't know what the percentage is between phones that work and phones that don't, but uh, I think the percentage that work is higher. So just go to the next one the and um, within about one or two or three, you, you should find a working phone. I don't think the, the non-working ones are that high, maybe 20 to 30 percent, if I'm guessing over here. All right, so flying across. I am, you can see that a chopper is essential for this. Taking a, a land vehicle would just take too much time. And uh, you only have about 20 minutes to do this. That is kind of how long a plunder match takes before the first team gets to a million bucks. Um, so doing this in 11 minutes is actually showing you that you can do it in half the time of a plunder match. So here again, I am showing you the, or showing myself how to get, just a quick reminder on how to get in there. This one's pretty simple. All you have to do is run to the front desk. Um, I don't know what this is. It looks like a motel of some sort, but uh, nothing too complicated about this one. Whereas other buildings are more are multi-floored, so that uh, getting the phone can be a bit difficult. All right, so here we're doing. Here we actually found a phone that works. So after the dial tone, they're going to give me three numbers in Russian. So null, fiat five, cm seven. All right, so zero five seven. Write that down. Put it to memory. Whatever you need to do. And um, then we're going to head to the yellow marker phones on the map. We're done with the blue ones. So as you can see, I'm using the left navigation system, which makes this very convenient. Clicked on the zero zero code zero zero, and that took us to military. Again, checking a quick video just to remind myself of where, how to get in it. So this one, for example, this one, you could be searching in the bottom floor, wasting valuable minutes. Um, you could be getting shot. Your helicopter could be getting stolen oh, during the time while you're looking for the phone. So quickly check the video, know where you're going, and um, that'll just increase your, your success rate. And yeah, so while we're flying there, just hit me a like and a subscribe. I'll continue to um, update this, this map as long as you guys are happy with it and enjoy it and, and see value in it. All right, so again, the military base really isn't far away from us when we're in a chopper. Um, and uh, thankfully, this isn't very busy. Now, I had a, I had a lot of uh, luck plays a big role in this. I was very lucky in this run. This was actually my first test run 
after finishing my map yesterday. So um, I did get very lucky as I didn't run into any enemies. But at the same time, I also... Okay, so here's the, the zero. As you can see, it was a Morse code. So zero is knocked off five and seven to find. Yeah, so like as I was saying, I got quite lucky here. But at the same time, I also knew which areas to go to um, to not that aren't um, very busy areas where I'm going to find a lot of enemies. All right, so five is next on our on our um, to-do list. This is at the section behind this uh, TV station in, in the parking lot next to the graffiti. See, so this one as well, a little bit more difficult to find. You would um, spend quite a lot of time running around you if you didn't know exactly where this phone was, which you don't have time for. So make sure to use my, my map. It's, it's there for a reason. And um, it took me a long time to find that phone the first time around so but now that i know where it is it's it's pretty simple to find but without any proper guidance you're going to waste a lot of time doing that so make use of the tools i'm giving you guys all right so flying over this time i know that the tv station is a hot spot so i'm going to park the chopper quite a distance away i don't want it to ping on their map so that they if there is anyone there so that they firstly shoot me down or otherwise steal it um, I want to kind of go in stealth mode here. So I could have done this probably a lot quicker. Could have even done it in eight to nine minutes. Uh, quickly scanning the area for enemies on the roof. It doesn't look like anyone's there. I didn't use my heartbeat sensor. Probably should have, but um, I just winged it. Uh, so it's not not the end of the world. But yeah, use the resources you have. Anything to survive. Uh, but I guess it's plunder, so you can just come. You can just dive back in when you respawn. But that's going to take off a good 30 seconds at minimum to, you know, off your clock. So be precautious, be ready. And uh, there, and there we go. Okay, so here we are entering from the side next to the graffiti. This, this room is a bit more technical. So as you can see, you have to run through at least three rooms to get to this phone. And it's on this desk to the right, not that desk, idiot. Uh, that one there. So there's the Morse code for five. All right, so zero and five knocked off. Last one to go is marker number seven. All right, so looking at the map again, quickly clicking on seven on the left there using the interface, taking us right to the airport. I have an idea of where this phone is, um, just because I, you know, I recorded it about a few days ago. So, but if you don't, you know, spend a bit more time, watch the proper video, make sure you know where you're going so that once you land there, you are ready. So a little bit of a run back to my chopper here, but uh, like I said, it's, it's worth it so that um, it doesn't get blown up. Because once it does, then yeah, it's, it's basically game over. You might as well restart um, depending how far the next marker is. But it would have taken me a ton of time to run there and or find a car to drive there um you know and that's gonna that's gonna be the difference between you finishing this mission or not all right so yeah you can see that my screen is stuttering a bit you can see my frames are dropping to 30 frames a second this is just an issue with warzone on pc i don't know what's going on i'm running a 2070 super generally the game before this i was running at 70 frames a second but um, due to memory leaks in this game, I just I get knocked down to 30 when I play. Uh, sometimes when I play two or three games in a row, um, have to when I, I just have to restart the game and then I'm back up to 70. So I don't know what's up with this game, but um, yeah. So sorry for the little bit of a hitching. It's not generally like this when I play, but seeing that as I wasn't going to try to kill anyone, wasn't engaging in any combat, um, I just let it go for this. So not a big deal. And if I can finish this with uh, this kind of laggy nonsense then uh, you guys can do it as well all right so running in here and yeah i also had a bit of a, a brain fart i didn't know ex i couldn't remember exactly where the phone was so i just skipped to the middle of the video and uh, it just reminded me that uh, it's on the desk right behind me quickly run there and here we get our last phone number which is seven or morse code for it and here is a message and it goes in the north of the test, in the north of the test, opening takes place. So that is obviously pointing to bunker 11, which is in the north. And the opening is going to take place uh, because we now have the code. We are ready. So let's roll out. So again, I parked a little bit far away. Precaution. And um, 
it paid off. Luckily, the airport was quite quiet. It's almost like there was no one on this map today. I got very, very lucky. And um, even there was no snipers in the control tower either. So there, it's just in case anyone's confused to where Bunker 11 is. It's right up north. And um, luckily quite close to the airport, which was my last uh, Morse code phone. So this is the area you really, really have to be uh, cautious of, especially if you're flying in a noisy helicopter. Enemies are going to be camping out here. But quite honestly, because I finished this now, we're only 10 minutes into this game. Most people are still playing, playing around. They generally only come uh, camp here to try gank people once the first team hits a million and they've got that extra, I don't know, two minutes or whatever, uh, where it's 1.5 times uh, cash received. Then people start hitting here and um, uh, start ganking. So because we're so quick on this, people are still messing around, just playing their usual game. So that's the advantage of using this map and being so early to the game. All right, so now that now this thing should just open. And uh, obviously I'm just filming this opening, but generally I would look, be looking behind me. Um, I just give it a quick snap just to make sure that no one's following me. And in we go. People, we are in Bunker 11. 20 seconds, 15 seconds remaining, we are going to get our MP7. So yeah, I would recommend not grabbing the chest. I know as tempting as it is, and I'm busy doing it here, but don't because when you grab too much cash, you're going to get a red uh, money money marker on the map and people are going to come hunting for you. So here it is, the MP7, we got it, 11 minutes, boom, people, boom. It's a very sexy design. I like it, uh, nice yellow, yellow and black, reminds me of a Hornet. Um, so yeah, like I said, don't grab too much cash because you're going to put a mark on your head. Stay, stay stealth. Um, you're not trying to, you're not trying to win this game with, uh, you know, with money. You're not trying to collect the most money. You tr your mission is to collect this, to collect, collect this gun. So yeah, I actually just put a spin on it. I put my gold camera on. I also put, uh, replaced a few attachments, mainly just the, the sight at, at the top and replaced it with the stock. You'll see why I actually shoot the gun later and it bounces quite a lot. The recoil bounces from left to right quite a lot. So I put a stock on it uh, just to control that a bit. But I quite like the gold and the yellow. I think it looks pretty sexy. There are actually two guns here. So I think if you bring a friend, then uh, you both can get one each. I don't know if a third person can get it or not. Um, this is actually my first time in the bunker. So yeah, I'm just cruising around, finding the other little areas in this place. Uh, this takes you to the shiny red button and once you press this then um, this fog rem uh, gets removed and it reveals the the missile the nuke missile over here all right so obviously that's going to be part of season four some exciting stuff coming and um, there are two other rooms in here i do get a little bit lost in here because it's my first time uh, so anyway, so here's another door that obviously is inaccessible. This most likely is going to be tied to the other laptops scattered around the map. Those are also in my interactive map. So I've put them there already as well as all the 21 teddy bears if they are going to play a role. So here's the other room. There's a lot of these blood splatters. People have said that this might um, be another clue, might might be a zombie event that might uh, trigger from this. We'll have to see, wait and see. So I'm starting to record the blood splatters uh, wherever I can. But at, the, at this point in time, they aren't really worth anything or um, going to do much. So now I'm just trying to find the... So I have my gun now, so I guess I can start collecting all the cash. But as you can see, I am still dodging it so that I can still explore and um, not get shot and then lose the, this footage. All right, so that's another gun I picked up. I don't know how to say it, the Gur or the Gyre. Um, this is obviously a, a built gun. I'm not exactly sure which gun this is. Um, I've obviously I have unlocked it, but I have I've never played it. I must just look for that, or it might be that gun that you need to unlock. I'm not sure, but I shoot this thing later, and it's 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 quite an insane gun. So anyway, so here is a another little switch to reboot the computer. This obviously can also play a role in uh, season four now. Uh, at this point in time, all it does is reboot the computer, as it says. So we'll see what this does. Quite excited to see what's going to come of it. So those are the three rooms, um, and we got our gun, so mission complete. I'm just going to show you guys how, what happens now with all, how the guns perform. So here's the, the MP7 that we picked up, and there's the, the GUR. The GUR. Take it 
All right, so this is obviously it's got a dual uh, optic on it. Just watch the recoil. You can see how it jumps from left to right. So that's why I put that stock on just to control the, the, the recoil a bit. Here's the recoil pattern. So it goes up and slightly to the right. And here is the recoil with me trying to control it. So not too bad. Now watch this machine. This is crazy. Yeah, this thing is a monster. Anyway, guys, so that's it from me. Check out my map. Uh, the links in the description below. And uh, let me know if you find any issues and I will be sure to correct them. And just like that, guys, we've come to the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, hit that like button. And if you didn't, smash it twice to tell me how angry you are. Don't forget to pop the subscribe button as well as ring the bell icon to get notified of any future videos. Oh, and uh, check this little video out. You can also subscribe over here. And this video is pretty cool too.